more. Uh, what what are the key times that folks need to be outside to, to view this um, as long as the weather cooperate? cooperate? Did I blast right through that? So let me bring this up. And actually, I uh, want to get you guys' thought. You're the you're the weather geeks here, not me. Uh, I, I only play one on TV. But um, here is the um, uh, the times. Let me switch to make sure I'm sharing the right screen. Um, can you see the times? Yeah, we got you. 1033 okay. through 1141. Yeah. yeah, so what I've listed here are the when the umbral eclipse begins. So it starts at 1033. If you go out there at 1023 and you look at it, you know, don't be tempted to run back inside because you don't see anything that's all that impressive. It's just beginning. Uh, if, if you really want to uh, limit your time when you're going out there and looking, and actually the later the better based on what we're seeing with the weather, uh, between 11 and midnight uh, Eastern time are, are going to be the best times to look. Uh, if you go out right during the total eclipse, yeah, you're going to see some color, but you're not really going to get an appreciation for what's going on with the eclipse. The really cool thing about the eclipse, if you kind of stand back and you, you think about some of the things that I've shown you here, and you think of that that lineup and the geometry of what's happening out there in the solar system between the sun, the earth, and the moon, if you go out there about 1130, um, 1115, 11:30, you're going to see the curve of the earth. You're going to see, because what you're looking at is the Earth's shadow being cast on the moon. So that's a great time to look. So things start at 1033. Between 11 and about midnight are a great time to look. The total eclipse, when the moon is completely within the moon's umbral shadow, that starts at 1141. Uh, the totality lasts for just a little over one minute. And the whole show, um, at least the umbral part of the show, is about three hours and 16 minutes. So this is not too late for us. But I'm going to ask you guys, I've, I've got the link up here from, um, or the I just took a screenshot from the uh, Raleigh Weather Office looking at cloud cover is in blue and the uh, precipitation potential is in brown. So it looks like you might, might not get rained on and decreasing clouds. You know, based on some of the forecast you've seen, is this looking pretty good to you? It does. Across Carolina, I'd say so. In the mountains, we could see some clouds sticking around uh, just due to some northwest flow in the wake of our front. But I think for central and eastern North Carolina, we're doing better. Yeah, that was my – That's that was some folks have asked me here in western North Carolina. My concern is that what Ricky is talking about, the northwest flow. So if you live in the mountains of, and just adjacent of the mountains in the northern foothills, you may have some clouds to contend with. But I think once you get towards the Hickory area in, in North Carolina, maybe – uh, maybe, uh, uh, Chris, you can help me out with some South Carolina locations. You know a little bit better than I do, but I think Hickory on, on, on East, you should be fine to see this, but I'm worried about the mountains and, and some of the Northern foothills just because of, of that Northwest flu. Yeah. I'll tell you, Scotty, I'll jump in here real quick with you, but, uh, uh, if if there was one thing I'd be worried about, also be some residual clouds left over, especially if you get to if we get some you know a, a good wedge in here like we did yesterday. And, you know, residual clouds are not too big of a problem here. We're talking about a three-hour event, so uh, if you got a few clouds moving through, no big deal. I've watched a lot of lunar eclipses through holes in the sky, so uh, there's plenty of time to to catch it. You know, even the total eclipses is, is over an hour long, so you know, unless we're looking at totally overcast skies all night, which doesn't seem to be the case, even in the mountains, I think we're going to see a good show here.